preaching the gospel in an Islam aware world. Let me show you a testimony. I once posted a comment on this Christian music video and it said this, I believe if every single person in the world were truthfully told growing up, there is a God, he made you, he loves you, he died for you, he wants joy in your life, and you ought to love others as you do yourself, I'm sure the world would have all the peace it's ever had. Well, that's the improved uh, post, what I put on there. Basically, in the beginning, it just says, it just said, there's God, uh, he made you, uh, he's got a plan for your life. And then one person responded to my comment and he said that this, oh, the Muslims were told that that until they finally run into a shop or uh, crash into buildings. Basically, if they ever bring up 9-11 again, I really have to say that you got to really tell them, inform them that that was an inside job, a conspiracy. It was a conspiracy just to get public opinion behind invasion of Afghanistan or Iraq or whatever. No question that Islam is guilty for many terrorist attacks, but Islam is basically a false cult perpetrated in the guise of so-called worshipping God when it's basically radicalism and political activism for an idol. Allah was only the ancient pagan moon god of the Middle East. They found this stone figure sitting down on a chair with a crescent moon across his chest. And basically, Islam has absolutely nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. It has absolutely nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. It's a big misrepresentation of God. And Muhammad was tricked by Satan in the guise of an angel. First Corinthians already... Second Corinthians already told us that Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light and he tricked Muhammad and then Muhammad tricked a whole majority of people to follow another way. Basically Islam is like the only religion in the world that wants to counteract and deny everything the Bible ever said. They deny that Abraham uh, that Isaac was the chosen seed of Abraham. They deny that Jesus died on the cross. They deny that uh, the Jews are this chosen people of God. They deny that Jesus rose from the dead. They deny that Jesus is the Messiah. They deny that he is God in the flesh. A lot of things they deny. And basically, if you look through the Quran, there's so many uh, unscientific, uh, 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 unscientific sayings and all sorts of crazy things. They try to say, oh, you know, a prophet, if he has a mole on his back. Holy moly. <laughs> That's not how you tell who a prophet is. I've got a mole on my back. I've got one right here on my cheek. Man, I must be a double prophet. Got two moles. <laughs> but anyway, um, when I try to say, you know, I love God, they try to think, oh, he's, he's talking about Allah. Because just how the world has been like listening to all the radicalism of all these uh, child abusing countries of uh, uh, Islamic countries telling like Allah and stuff like that. Basically, I understand Catholics and Muslims want, want to honor God so bad, but they're not doing it right at all. And basically... Um, if you if someone if you ever come a born again uh, um, God fearing Christian who says I love God put away all preconceived ideas forget Muslims their 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 cult is wrong for many number of reasons historically scientifically spiritually etc but basically the the gospel of Christ it's basically that what transforms nations Jesus is victorious resurrection is what's hope to all nations Muhammad is dead. Buddha is dead. Confucius is dead. Krishna is dead. They're all stone-cold dead. They're all religious people, but Jesus was not religious. He came to bring hope to the world, and there's evidence for his existence. There's evidence for his ministry and evidence that he was crucified on a cross. Allah is only Satan pretending to be God. The Quran is Satan's Bible. Not, uh, not to mention the Alexandrian text, the modern versions, and the Catholic Bible, which brought in the Inquisitions and the Dark Ages, which wasn't Christian at all, but a false church that to counteract true Christian growth, and true Christians were hiding. But anyway, preaching the gospel in an Islam-aware world, you gotta legitimately explain to people that Islam has absolutely nothing to do with the God of the Bible, and it is not an Abrahamic faith. It is a perverted, twisted, mind-altering, hallucinated cult brought up by one of Ishmael's descendants, but I'm not saying I'm not being racist or anything. So I always look at the person's attitude before judging them. I don't judge their outward appearance. I always look for their attitude first. And if their attitude stinks, well, then there's no choice but to actually say that I don't like your behavior. But anyway, Islam has nothing to do with Christianity. Muhammad is not mentioned in the Bible, and Jesus warned us about false prophets. Since Jesus is the almighty creator and he is the final authority, he said, watch out for false prophets that come to you in sheep's clothing. So, just tell people 
that, you know, like, this is a different God. Osama bin Laden has got a totally different God than I do. Saddam had a totally different God than I do. Yasser Arafat had a totally different God than I do. The Quran is the Mein Kampf of war. The Bible is a missionary manual brought to transform lives and let people understand that there's the, the Lord loves them. And basically, Psalm 33, 12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Allah is only an idol. Basically, God called Abraham out of Ur, and that's where they were making all these idols to worship the sun, moon, stars, stuff like that. God created the sun after he created there so people would not worship it. And the moon, he called all these lights, he created them after the earth so people would not worship them. And so after uh, people fell, they started to go their own hallucinating ways and so on. But anyway, when you preach, uh, like preaching the gospels in an Islam aware world, they've, oh, mind you, they've always got these preconceived ideas, oh, like Islam, no, this is radical, stuff like that. Taking that as an example and superimposing upon the gospel of Christ is nothing but shallow thinking and hallucinated deciphering. I tell you that much. It's not how you work that way. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is the only thing that can give you salvation and so on.